What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Here to bring you an NFL draft prediction video on Tyree Wilson. I believe he'll be selected by the Houston Texans in this year's draft, and let's discuss why. So, NFL draft is literally a week away now. Today's April 30th, uh, Thursday. The draft is literally seven days away. I'm super excited, super stoked for it. It's going to be, this one is going to seem like it's going to be crazy. You know, uh, last year was kind of weird with the quarterbacks dropping. But this year is going to be a lot of trades, in my opinion. A lot of trades, a lot of movement, a lot of things shaking and baking. So, super excited. Um, but, yeah, on to this video. I hinted at this video yesterday. I, uh, I did a Trey Lance, emergency Trey Lance video. You know, the news happening about him possibly being traded. Uh, I've been on that bandwagon all offseason. And I did a prediction video on the Texans landing Trey Lance. And I, uh, I'm, I'm on the bandwagon as well about, you know, that's why this video is made here about the Texans not picking uh, C.J. Stroud or Will Levis or Richardson or any quarterback at pick two. I think they're going to go with the defensive guy, someone in the front seven, like Will Anderson or Tyree Wilson. But here's why I like Tyree Wilson over Will Anderson. Let's make it clear, right? Uh, well, first off, you know, you've seen a lot of you've seen a lot of reports now coming from the big wigs, from the big media guys, Daniel Jeremiah, Brooks, uh, a couple other guys as well. And you're seeing them put out information saying, you know, rumors are the Texans might draft Tyree Wilson over Will Anderson or some or they'll say some teams are thinking about drafting Tyree Wilson over Will Anderson in kind of a shocking move. If you go back to my channel, I posted this on my social media yesterday. Go back to my channel. Look at February 23rd. I posted a, a video, a long, I think 10, 12 minute video saying Tyree Wilson could be better than Will Anderson and Jalen Carter. And I stand on that. I really think Tyree Wilson, you know, in the next couple of years could be, if, if, everything, if everything pans out, it's a big if, you know. And like I always say, uh, dealing with drafts, you deal with two words. These these two words are often overused. It's been, you know, it, 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 it'll get GMs and coaches fired in the NFL and in, 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 in the NBA. But it got to be used projection and versatility and Tyree Wilson to me are if he maxes out both of those or get close to maxing out both of those he's going to be a monster 6'6 275 I mean man and he, he he's a stud you know he's listed as a pass rusher right now as an edge rusher but he's more than that you know he reminds me of a guy like Trayvon Walker last year number one overall pick for the Jacksonville Jaguars very versatile uh, can beat you in many ways. He's an edge rusher standing up. He can beat you with his hand in the dirt, defensive end. He can kick inside to the three technique and play deep, deep tackle. And he beat you all those ways. You know, unlike a guy like Will Anderson, who's been uh, thought of as the number one guy, or at least number number one pass rushing guy since like 2021, probably. You know, um, you know he, he's he's a one trick pony, which isn't a bad thing because his his one trick is 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 amazing. You know, he's. He's going to earn a lot of money from being a one-trick pony and as being a straight-up pass rusher. Whether it's hands in the dirt or standing up as an edge rusher, he's going to make a lot of money. But in my opinion, you know, I like versatility more. You know, and I always ask people the same question. Who would you rather have? We have debates like who's better, you know, between a D-tackle or edge rusher. Would you rather have Aaron Donald or would you rather have Nick Bosa? Me personally, I'll have Aaron Donald all day no debate about it. Aaron Donald can beat you so many ways. He can stand up. He can edge rush. He can kick inside, nose tackle, de-tackle at, at the three technique. It makes too much sense. You know, a guy like Nick Bosa, Joey Bosa, you know, those two brothers are amazing at what they do, but they only can do what they can do. You know, they, they can't do nothing more than that. And that's the thing with Will Anderson. Great stand-up guy, quick burst, quick first step. But Tyree Wilson, if he pans out, can beat you so many ways, inside, outside. You know, I think that's just, to me, the most important thing uh, in today's NFL and, and, and the way that the league is going, especially with a new head coach and a defensive-minded head coach like D'Amico Ryans, it just makes too much sense. You know, he had guys like uh, – D'Amico Ryans had guys like Nick Bosa, Eric Armstead. And, you know, I, and for me personally, I think the, the – the person that made the whole defense run on that front seven, outside of the linebackers and being outside wagged. of Fred Warner, I think the Forrest Buckner and Aaron Armstead were the guys that make that ship ran for that Niners team a couple years ago before 
uh, he got traded to the, to the Colts. You know, so I think Tyree Wilson could be that linchpin piece to make everything work. You know, the, the Texans have been trying to get a a, a a stud in that front seven since J.J. Watt and uh, Jadavon Clowney left a couple years ago now. They've been trying, couldn't really find a, a, a great fit, and you have two guys here who fit the Clowney role, which is Will Anderson, or one guy who fits that J.J. Watt mode in Tyree Wilson. I'm not saying he's going to be J.J. Watt, but he'll give you the same feel, the same type of play style. Like As I said, multiple spots, outside, inside, something Will Anderson can't do, you know. Um, I, I just think Wilson, man, who, you know, 6'6", 275, long arm, lanky, and has room to grow. He's going to be, I mean, he, I think, I, I think you know, guarantee he's going to be at least solid, you know. But that's the thing about number two o- o- overall. You know, that's why I didn't say in the intro, I didn't say number two. You know, the Texans could definitely trade back, pick three, pick four, and see what happens there. But as of right now, you know, um, I had him getting Tyree Wilson. You know, the whole... The whole C.J. Stroud rumor stuff going on, I did my prediction on this. Not as I had my video ready prior to the whole rumors about uh, Stroud um, skipping the Manning Academy and scoring bad on the S2 uh, S2 on one lick test. I was already picking Tyree Wilson anyway, you know, so that didn't really affect anything. I just think the way it goes, you know, D'Amico Ryan seen Lance for two years. You know, he knows he knows if if he can play or not. It just makes sense to me, you know, and he shouldn't be that expensive. Uh, in my video yesterday, I said two day two picks. People telling me he's going to go for a day three, you know, round three, round four type type thing. So if that's the case, shoot, get him, <laughs> get him. If, if you can take, if you can keep, if, if, if any team, not just the Texans, but if you can keep all, you know, your, your day one and day two picks and don't got to worry about trading those to get a guy like Trey Lance, do that. Trade all your day, day day three picks, you know, the first couple of them to get Lance if you need to. You know, if he's a quarterback of, of your future, you have him for the next three years and, and even more if you franchise tag. So, you know, um, I just think D'Amico Ryan's being defensive minded head coach will go with a defensive guy. It could be Will Anderson. It definitely could be. Um, Jalen Carter would, would be a great case as well if it wasn't for the off the field issues, but Carter's a monster too, you know, so, you know, I'm going on a real limb saying he's going to be better. Tyree Wilson's going to be better or could be better than Carter and, and Will Anderson, but I stand on it though. I really do believe, you know, in, in Tyree Wilson. So we'll see where it goes. Uh, like I said, I'm sorry for the draft, whether I'm right or wrong, don't matter. You know, it's all fun. I don't take it too serious, but I do predict. Tyree Wilson going to the Texans, and I'm going to stick to that and see what happens during draft time. So that's it for the video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Outside of Fred Warner, I think DeForest Buckner and Aaron Armstead were the guys that make that shit ran for that Niners team a couple years ago before uh, he got traded to the, to the Colts. You know, so I think Tyree Wilson could be that linchpin piece to make everything work. You know, the, the Texans have been trying to get a, a – a stud in that front seven since J.J. Watt and uh, Jadavon Clowney left a couple years ago now. They've been trying, couldn't really find a a, a great fit, and you have two guys here who fit the Clowney role, which is Will Anderson, or one guy who fits that J.J. Watt mode in Tyree Wilson. I'm not saying he's going to be J.J. Watt, but he'll give you the same feel, the same type of play style. Like, as I said, multiple spots, outside, inside, something Will Anderson can't do, you know, um, I, I just think Wilson, man, who, you know, 6'6", 275, long arm, lanky, and has room to grow. He's going to be, I mean, he, I think, I, I think you know, guarantee he's going to be at least solid, you know. But that's the thing about number two o- o- overall. You know, that's why I didn't say in the intro, I didn't say number two. You know, the Texans could definitely trade back, pick three, pick four, and see what happens there. But as of right now, you know, um, I had him getting Tyree Wilson. You know, the whole... The whole C.J. Stroud rumor stuff going on, I did my prediction on this. Not as I had my video ready prior to the whole rumors about uh, Stroud um, skipping the Manning Academy and scoring bad on the S two uh, S two on one lick test. I was already picking Tyree Wilson anyway, you know, so that didn't really affect anything. I just think the way it goes, you know, D'Amico Ryan seen Lance for two years. You know, he knows he knows if if he can play or not. It just makes sense to me, you know, and he shouldn't be that expensive. 
uh, in my video yesterday, I said two day two picks. People telling me he's going to go for a day three, you know, round three, round four type type thing. So if that's the case, shoot, get him. <laughs> get him. If, if you can take, if you can keep, if, if, if any team, not just the Texans, but if you can keep all, you know, your, your day one and day two picks and don't got to worry about trading those to get a guy like Trey Lance, do that. Trade all your day, day, day three picks, you know, the first couple of them to get Lance if you need to. You know, if he's a quarterback of, of your future, you have him for the next three years a, a, and even more if you franchise tag. So, you know, um, I just think D'Amico Ryan's being defensive minded head coach will go with a defensive guy. It could be Will Anderson. It definitely could be. Um, Jalen Carter would, would be a great case as well if it wasn't for the off field issues. But Carter's a monster too, you know. So, you know, I'm going on a real limb saying he's going to be better. Tyree Wilson's going to be better or could be better than Carter and, and Will Anderson. But I stand on it, though. I really do believe, you know, in, in Tyree Wilson. So we'll see where it goes. Uh, like I said, I'm sorry for the draft. Whether I'm right or wrong, don't matter. You know, it's all fun. I don't take it too serious. But I do predict Tyree Wilson going to the Texans, and I'm going to stick to that and see what happens during draft time. So that's it for the video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.